Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you how within Google Forms to do what's called Go To Section. Basically this allows your respondents to go to a specific part of the form based on how they answer a question. Now one use could be like you see here, maybe as a bell ringer, giving student choice as to whether they see a multiple choice question or a short response question. Another option is you could build, uh, if you remember at least from my childhood, they were choose your own adventure books. You know, if you wanna go into the cave, flip to page 47. You can build those with this same model. Now the way this works is by using multiple sections within a Google form. We'll see how to build those in just a second. Those forks in the roads, those points where the, the path diverges, they have to be done with either a multiple choice question or a drop down question. So again, any point you want the path to change, it either has to be multiple choice or drop down. Now here's kind of how I might suggest going about constructing this. Start with your question, right? So what type of question would you prefer? Multiple choice or short response? Now what I'm going to do is build a new section for each place I want them to go. In this case, multiple choice and short response. To build a new section, click on the two lines to the right to add a section. And it's titled section two of two, untitled, and I'll build another one for the short answer. Now, you could leave it untitled if you want, but my suggestion is to name it here, where it says untitled section, where they're coming from. So in this case, it'd be multiple choice if they chose multiple choice and if they chose short response they're going to go there you'll see why in just a second now in these sections i'm going to build my questions so maybe just like before we'll click on the section add my question and here's my multiple choice question with option one and option two great in section three short response i want to build my new question and it's going to be a paragraph and i'm going to give some prompt here Awesome, we'll see those later. Uh, I can also spell response correctly, can I? There we go. Uh, now, how do I get my people to go to those sections correctly? Well, back up at the fork question, the one where it changes. When you click on that, you get your options and all your different things. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, select these, or click on rather, these three vertical dots and select go to section based on answer. What that's now going to do is tell me where to go in the form if they choose this response. This is also why I had you name this, or I suggested naming the sections, because otherwise it would just be section one, two, three, four, five, and so on. By putting a name to it, I know where it's going. Multiple choice goes to multiple choice, short response goes to short response, and boom, you're done, except for one other little thing I'll show you. So if I take a, a preview of this, right? If I choose short response, I go to the short response question and I can submit my answer. That's awesome. Uh, here's a little problem though that took me a little while to learn. If I select multiple choice, I go to multiple choice, which is great. And then when I say next, I still get the short response question. Why? Because back here, look at the end. After section one, continue to next section. That's great. After section two, multiple choice, they still go to the next section, which means they get the short response whether they want it or not. So just click here, and if they answer the multiple choice, I just wanna submit the form when we're done. Short response, since that's the last section, it will automatically submit the form when they're done with that. So you just wanna make sure you change that after the section part. So there you have it. That's how to go to sections within Google Forms using multiple sections and either a multiple choice or drop down questions. As always, if you have any questions on this or anything else EdTech related, please feel free to email me and thank you for watching.